Now, I just want to state this outright. This is not a build video. This is not, you must use this or, you know, your shield's worthless. This is just information. This is me just kind of showing you what the strongest shield that you can possibly get, at least as far as my testing goes, in the game. Now, whether you decide to make something useful out of that information, that's entirely up to you. But as you can see here, I basically have 26.85 million health on my bulwark shield. Now, if you actually look, you know, at the skill tier itself, you see there's five yellow cores and two blue cores, but it says it's tier six. However, that adds up to seven. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit funky. And I think this is a problem with the, the exotic backpack. Now, if we actually look at the base shield and I mean, just taking a all red build, but looking at the base shield, you get about 2.7, 2.8 million health on the shield. Whenever you take your, your mods off, 2.6 million. Now, basically, when you start adding in all the buffs that you can, and in this case, that includes the Forge Holster, the Motherly Love Gloves, the, uh, the three-piece Foundry Bulwark, and then, of course, the exotic backpack, the Memento, you can end up getting a huge buff to your shield strength. So now in total, you end up getting you know 50% from the Bulwark, you get 50% from the Forge. Now the Motherly Love gives you 10%, but it's kind of like a total skill health rather than just a 50% shield health. So kind of like how total weapon damage is more powerful than weapon damage. So 10% skill health is technically stronger than 50% shield health, at least depending on the strength of your shield. So if you have a really strong shield, the 10% is going to be stronger. If you have a really weak shield, then generally the 50% of your base shield is going to be stronger. Now, of course, once you get into the actual memento itself, that 5% efficiency basically adds 5% skill health. So whenever you kill an enemy, pick up one of those dog tags for every yellow that you have on your build, you're going to get 5%, meaning you can get a max generally, at least as far as my testing goes, you can get a max of 30. Now the long-term buff also gives you 30% because you can get a max of 30 stacks and then you get 1% skill efficiency. So now you're basically getting 60% total skill health from your 60% skill efficiency. So basically the easy math of it is that you're looking at about 500% from just shield health. You're looking at um, a 1.1 multiplier from your, your motherly love gloves. And then you're also getting a 1.6 modifier from your memento backpack. Now, like I said, this isn't really a build. Um, it's going to take you an insanely long time to actually kill targets with you know the weak damage. But I didn't design it for the damage. I just kind of pick pieces just to get the max health on it. You know, you could basically just find a way to get tier six by equipping the right pieces of armor, um, having a little bit of skill tier, and then just using all weapon damage. And then that will give you, you know, a, a good enough boost. Now it's not going to give you the greatest boost, but you can still get a very strong shield. You can get over 20 million pretty easily. So having 26 million isn't really the... Uh, the pinnacle of, of success for the build. But again, when you know what you can get, it's a lot easier to work backwards and see what you want to have. Now, the one thing that I wanted to test that I couldn't was just getting another skill tier on my chest piece because, you know, there is some wonky issues with the uh, the card 45 custom and the, uh, the memento backpack. You know, sometimes that skill tier does not seem to show up or show up on a regular basis. So I wanted to have a bulwark chest piece rolled with skill tier. But unfortunately, I only have one in my actual inventory. Um, pretty much everything else that I had was was deleted, or at least I purged them all, you know, a while ago. So I don't have one to just roll um, with skill tier. Uh, I would like to test it out, see if I could get, you know, like 27 million or, or or higher. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So, you know, that's just the one thing that I couldn't test out at this time. But either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope that helped you out in some way. Maybe you can, you know, figure out your own strategy for doing something with this type of information. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.